I had over $1,000 in charges to my hosting account after it was hacked this year. And this is the story of what happened, what I did to fix it, and how it was completely my fault. March 24th, 2021, I film a video in my studio about DreamPress. As I'm going through the DreamHost account creation process in real time, I am prompted to pick a password for my new account. And to my demise, I use the suggested one from Google. Now, this wouldn't have been a problem if I would have either A, changed the password after the fact, or B, blurred out the password on the screen. But instead, on April 2nd, 2021, I choose to close my account with DreamHost. May 12th, 2021, I published this video on my channel. Around the one minute and 55 second mark, you can clearly see my email address and the password. My account was closed, so who cares if the password shows up in the video, right? Well, definitely not. July 5th, 2021, I get an automated email from DreamHost stating, the email address used to log into your DreamHost account was just changed. And as you can see, here is the culprit. Just a side note here, I thought about using the actual email address of the hacker, but decided against it, and I'll explain why in a little bit. July 8th, 2021, I respond to the previous email with, hello, this was not me, and 10 minutes later, DreamHost locks the account, citing suspicious activity. July 10th, 2021, the hacker somehow logs back into the locked account and, unbeknownst to me, opens a chat window with support saying, Someone logged into my account and changed my password and email address, but I was able to sign in with the Google battery, but I can't change it back to my email address because it asks for a password, and that was changed. Please help me. Hi, Piesid here. I'm really sorry to see you are having trouble with the email service. I'd be happy to help. Just a sec let me pull up your account smiley face. I notice it is a login issue. Yes, because someone changed my primary email address and removed it. Thank you. Please allow me a few minutes while I review the changes on your account. Please change it back to my email address. Thanks for holding. We sent a notification to your account. The access was locked due to a suspicious IP login. Our security team has to handle these changes you request to protect your account. I see you sent a response to the email sent by this team. No, I didn't answer anything now. Hacker at gmail.com. This was my email address. Thank you. Allow me a few minutes to consult the issue. Do they choose from what they have changed? If they write about emails other than hacker at gmail.com, it's not me. Do you understand? That's what I wrote. Yes, that's the answer I see on the ticket. I see this email in my account. After consulting internally the issue, unfortunately this is handled via the ticket. Our security team is in charge to resolve the issues on the account. Via this channel we cannot do any changes on your account at this moment. You need to wait for a response of the security team through the ticket. I apologize for the inconveniences. Did what I sent you our ticket forward to the security team? We already sent a communication. I see you replied to it. Please wait for a response. The subject is, re, dreamhost account change. For this email, hacker at gmail.com. This was sent on July 8th, 2021. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. I haven't received anything so far. Okay. I don't understand why it's hard to get my account back. I don't feel safe going to DreamHost. Thank you for your help. Have a nice day. You can send a new reply to the DreamHost account change email asking to enable two-step verification and the email change to resolve the issue. During this time, anyone could have bought from my account. I didn't receive any emails. And I didn't ask for two-step authentication. Is someone acting on my behalf? Yes, that was my advice as two-step auth prevent this from happening. Now if you did not receive any emails, you may also submit a ticket with the topic, abuse, security. Should I submit this ticket? Yes, if you don't see an email with the subject, DreamHost account change, go ahead and send a new ticket asking what happened on the account and measures to protect it. Done. Okay, perfect. At this moment all you need to do is wait for a response. Okay, thanks. I wish you a nice day. Thanks for reaching DreamHost support, you as well. July 11th, 2021. I get another email from DreamHost saying that they need my name, billing address, and digits of my credit card to regain access to my account. The second big mistake I made was not responding to this email right away. July 21st, 2021. Still somehow with access to the closed and locked account, the hacker opens another chat session with the support team and basically asks to cancel the VPS service and also drops a clue about himself stating that he's Hungarian. July 23rd, 2021. I find a charge from DreamHost on my credit card totaling over $525. I finally replied to the DreamHost support team's email with a screenshot of the charges. 
DreamHost gets back to me that same day and gives me a breakdown of the charges, which includes a $200 DreamPress charge, a $395 shared hosting charge, and a $360 VPS charge. I finally validate my address, credit card info, and full name, and DreamHost happily refunds the charges and provides a password reset link. Finally, with access to my account, which I had originally closed three months earlier, I'm able to go back through the support history and find other pieces of information, such as domain names and IP addresses, which do indeed point back to Hungary, like the hacker admitted earlier. I did my research and because of the screenshot that the hacker provided to DreamHost customer support, I have his name, email address, and even found his Twitter account, which has his picture. Again, for his protection and because of the fact that I probably would have at some point in my earlier life seen the opportunity to take advantage of the situation as well, I am not mad or upset. In fact, I am grateful for the lesson to be more diligent with my video creation process and I'm hopeful that the hacker eventually does good with whatever he creates online. August 26, 2021. If you thought the saga was over, well, not quite yet because I received another charge from DreamHost in the amount of $346. Again, DreamHost was understanding and took this charge off my account at my request. I believe that there are a couple things that you can take away from my mistake. The first is that your website is not the only entry point for hackers. Your hosting account is just as important to protect with a strong password that you keep safe. The second is that choosing a hosting platform with good customer service is important because in this situation, if DreamHost wasn't so willing to understand my situation, then I probably would have had to pay hundreds of dollars in hosting fees. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.